Army, January 3rd, 2010. I'm back down here at Prince George's County Circuit Court outside of Judge Jackson's chambers where I just, I had taken his case on appeal. Uh, and uh, I'm on my way now down to Annapolis at, uh, to file my pre-hearing information report. I'll do a report from down there. And just for the record, I picked, I ordered a second copy of the transcript from the district court. And uh, the clerk uh, said something to me that was rather amusing, that on a de novo appeal, the transcript is irrelevant because everything's supposed to be a new appeal. Well, if it's irrelevant and everything's supposed to be new, how come I was never given a day in court? How, they, how come everything was uh, decided by Judge Jackson in his secret chambers? How come the appellees, appellees uh, Discover Bank, never entered an appearance? No attorney entered an appearance for them. Uh, and how come no hearings or trials were scheduled, even though a jury trial was requested? These are all things that will have to be addressed in the uh, uh, brief to the uh, Court of Special Appeals, which the case is, on its, uh, is being appealed to. And uh, while I was here, I filed a, uh, a motion with uh, our new clerk of the court, Marilyn Bland, uh, since for 16 years I haven't been able to get in a uh, meeting with any member of the clerk's office to, to describe this, what authority they have to issue unsigned or to, to, to put an unsigned order on a docket of this court. It's not allowed. It has to be signed. It has to be authenticated. It has to be sealed by the previous court and there has to be a record. Putting an unsigned document into the case file is nothing more than a, than a fraud and a sham. So I, under the, uh, uh, Maryland Public Information Act uh, 10, subtitle 6, 10-611 uh, and through 10-628, uh, the Freedom of Information Act of the State of Maryland, I am now requesting this because on New Year's Eve I received a correspondence from Chief Justice Roberts of the United States Supreme Court. Which has given me till February 29th to uh, file my petition for writ of certiorari. And I need this information. Uh, the government has no right to suppress this information. Uh, they're trying to take my home, take my business, and make me liable as a debt slave to Discover Bank on unsigned orders. It's just not going to happen, folks. So I'll pick this up in Annapolis. It's now 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Once again, I'm reporting from the land of the scam and the home of the fraud, Prince George's County Circuit Court. God bless and have a good day.